this is the Commodore 64 Ultimate 2 Plus. And as you can see, this is the this is this year's model from 2016. And last year's model looked a little different. It um, frankly it didn't look as good, but it still has most of the same functionality. Uh, this little um, connector here is for the tape drive, and it's, it was an optional. It unplugs right here. But with this one, you just use a, the, one of the three USB ports that are on here. And you need a uh, tape or a USB to tape interface, which you can purchase from the 1541ultimate.net. And uh, some of the other differences that you see on here on this device are now instead of having to plug in a separate speaker, it has one built in. And that emulates the hard drive sounds, or I'm sorry, the disk drive sounds on the, of the 1541 drive or whatever. Uh, drive emulation that you're used to hearing. And uh, with the old one I needed a, a set of speakers you know and then I and then it did have a port to plug into and then I and then I would be able to hear the the hard drive sound emulation which was fine but it's it's just extra things that you have to plug in. So that's that's why they uh, integrated this in and it sounds pretty good and if you'll notice on the side here it also has a Ethernet jack and there's an Ethernet uh, interface I believe for that which um, I don't have and I don't have the tape interface right now either and the uh, this little port here is for external USB power um, from what I understand. It's not necessary all the time, but sometimes there is a power draw that comes out of out of this device and it might affect certain things. So um, that's something to keep in mind. So I, I did try, I'm not sure, but you can, it's hard to see, but the one on the left here, these are audio ports, I believe, because the one on the left is green and the one on the right is blue, which would, to me, indicate this is an output and then this is an input. But I did try plugging my, my uh, speakers into it and I, I wasn't getting any sound. Which is okay, the sound was still coming in here. So it might just be that I have to uh, do something on the menus to, to uh, enable that. But um, other than that, you, you, uh, what this, what, when you buy this cartridge, it comes with a flash drive now. And what I've been doing is just plugging it into the side right here. I've loaded it with some... Uh, ROMs for the Commodore 64 and you also are getting a little cable and this cable so you plug this into the back into your cartridge port and then the cable plugs into the disk drive port and then that allows you to load this this cartridge allows you to load the ROMs that you have on there as well as a, a, a couple of, or many other there's many other uses this cartridge has and um, we'll look at some of those in, in the menus here in a minute. So now I have the Commodore 64 or the 1541 Ultimate um, 2 Plus plugged into the Commodore, to my Commodore 64C. And I'm going to power on the unit and we're going to take it for a test drive. You hear the little disk drive sound there. And what you see when you first power on the, the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus is this menu right here. And what I normally do straight from here is press F7. And that loads the fast loader. And then from there I push the middle button on the device to go back into the unit. And and from here you can connect to your USB, sand, uh, which is the sand disk, which the one that I have is the sand disk. I hit enter. And then I'm presented with my, my um, folder structure for my ROMs. Now I can use down arrow and up arrow to select between, to, to move up and down between the folders. Or I can hit F7 to page down or F1 to page up. And if, when I select one, I hit enter or return on the keyboard. And then you can either rename, delete, but I'm just going to hit enter to go into one. 
and these are the cartridges that I have loaded and let's let's go into one of these for example I'm gonna hit enter on one and then you have the option to run the cartridge rename delete or view but I'm just gonna run it I'm gonna hit return and just that fast Galaxian's loaded and if I hit F1 I could actually start playing But, and then I hit F1 to go back, sorry, I hit the middle button to go back into my menus. Now from here, if I wanted to escape out of this menu, I hold the shift key down and push the left arrow. That pops me up one. There's two other options. You hit up F3 for help. And this kind of describes all of your buttons here. So you got your cursor up and down, cursor left, cursor right, return, run, stop. Run, stop also, also um, brings you back, pops you up a level. F1 to page up, F7 to page down, F2 to enter the setup menu, F5 for the action menu. And you have a few here. Control A to select all, control N to deselect, control C to copy the current selection and paste, control V to paste. Much like in the modern windows. And F6 to show the debug log. And you can use the keyboard to type the name to search. So if you if you know the name of the game, you can you can type it. I I, I just use the arrow keys though. So let's hit, um, so let's, let's look at another game. Let's look at uh, Centipede. So hit enter on the C's, enter again. And let's try what it says. You can type it C-E-N. At least it got me to the C-E's. And then Centipede.d64. You have the option to mount the disc, to run it. Mount disc read only. Mount disc unlinked. Rename, delete, or view. I almost always use run disk. You hear the disk? That's the built-in speaker working. And believe it or not, that is much faster than loading it off of your, your floppy drive. And it's just that quick, you're playing Centipede. So, now hitting the button in the middle takes you back into the, to the menus where your ROMs are. And then pretty much that's all I use this for, is to load the ROMs off, and off of the cartridge and to load games. There are a few ad additional options that you can get to on here. If you push the farthest to the right button, the button on the far right, you, it resets. And there's other options here. You have your F1 to configure memory, F3 for a normal reset, F5 for utilities. And uh, I showed you F7. Um, so let's look at F5 for the utilities. And it has like a, a whole um, disk format utility right here. C to exit to fast load. Back where, back where we were. And then, looking at your help again, let's hit F5 for the action menu. Let's see what that does. Oops. F5. So here you have, looks like you have the ability to create disks, create D64, a G64, flush the printer, eject, slash eject page. Reset IEC and printer. You'll um, ulti copy eight, ulti copy nine. Reset the Commodore 64. Reboot the Commodore 64. Hard system reboot. Save uh, REU memory. Create a directory. Sample tape to tap. Capture save to tape. Reset 1541 drive A. Remove disk from drive A. Save disk in drive A as a D64 save disk in drive A as a G64. So these are some additional options. And I hit it run stop. 
I never use those menu options. Uh, this is primarily what I use it for is to load the ROMs. And I just wanted to show off the main features of the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus. And one other option you have is to play SID music. So you just go into a folder where there are some SIDs loaded and then just pick something and enjoy. And you hit the middle button to go in and you can select another SID like airline.sid that's really cool isn't it and I'm hitting F7 to page down and let's try Congo Bongo here So anyway, these are the main features of the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus, and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Okay, over on 1541ultimate.net is where you can find all the information about the Ultimate 2, including how to purchase it. And I'll scroll down here and you'll see the available models, the white, the red, and the black. I like the red model because it matches my uh, Commodore 64C. And then there's the ordering page. And he says the Ultimate 2 Plus is for $149.95, including 21% sales tax, thus $123.93, excluding VAT. Roughly, it rounds out to about $140 US and plus shipping. What you see here is a white version of the 1541 Ultimate 2 Plus that I have here for sale to my lucky YouTube lis listeners or viewers. So what I'm gonna do is offer it for sale for $130 US residents only, free shipping. I will list my email in the description of this video and once it's sold, I'll mark it as sold in the description of the video so that you uh, will know that it's gone. So take a look at it, it's a beautiful device and every Commodore 64 deserves one of these. <laughs> Owner deserves one of these units. It's beautiful. You won't go wrong. Let's check out Defender. Ooh, Defender. <laughs> 